hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me again and again so today guys we are making a catfish barbecue as you can see in this video i've already parboiled my fish i've already cleaned it already so you just need a simple ingredient so next on our list is our soya pepper you need our soya pepper very important for this recipe and you need your dry pepper the next is our onions you need some garlic is giving everything so you need curry and you need some no cure and you need ginger so that ginger will give it extra flavor you need your olive oil so you need your salt just a little bit of salt and the most thing you need your foil paper if you don't have foil paper you cannot do this fish so after then you have to mix all your ingredients together some people love to use the bonus pepper but i don't like that i prefer using dry everything dry so after that you mix everything together stay together keep stirring it stir everything together till your ancestor tell you it's okay okay let's begin so next you have to rub it you use the paper to rub your fish first of all you have to cut your fish first cut it so that the old ingredients can get in can stuck in you know what i mean so the old ingredients can get in very well properly you have to keep 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 putting it to your to your satisfaction anyhow you want it so keep rubbing it keep putting in don't forget we still have another fish <laughs> so keep putting it keep rubbing it together guys this catfish is just everything like you don't you know the type of panera so let's try something new let's try another new thing so that is it guys keep rubbing it and I have to stir this one side for the next fish coming. You can use fresh pepper, you can use bonnet pepper, anything you like. But I prefer to use uh, dry pepper ingredients. So let's. I feel like catfish barbecue is the most easy recipe ever. You can you can make you can make this for your friends anybody that come around it's so easy and it goes well with everything you can use this for fish for yam for fried dodos for potatoes anything is, is going well you can even use it you can have it with rice as well so everything guys it goes it goes well with everything i keep romancing the fish so that the old ingredients can stuck in can get in very well so that's it guys, let's keep rubbing it. So guys, this is our next fish and I'm just keep rubbing it, keep adding your ingredients to it. So that's it. Keep rubbing your ingredients. Then I will have to tie it very well. I tie it properly so that the old ingredients will not drip out from the fish. You understand what I said? <laughs> so that's it. Then I'll have to tie it properly. I have to tie it then put it in the oven. If you don't have oven, mind you, you cannot make this fish as well. If you don't have oven at home, you can. So I don't know if you can fry it, if you can use other uh, method. Maybe you can use other method. But for me, I think oven is the most easy way. Put on my oven, turn it to 360 degree. So leave it for like 30 minutes and let it done. So I just heat up my fry pan. It's time to fry the patatas. I made potato, sweet potato that I will be using to eat the catfish. So you can have it with anything. As you can see, I'm adding my granite oil. Then I will allow it to hot first, then add my potato. <music> This is the type of potato I love using. This one, as you can see right here. So let me add it to my fry pan and heat it about like 12 or 10 minutes. No, less than five minutes. So. Mm -hmm. Now I'm adding my potato. 
so that is it i'll have to leave it to fry for some minutes then take it off <music> I just want to prepare the salad and here yeah, I have carrots, two carrots and a slice of garbage. I have garbage that I've been using already. So this is my garbage. I will have to slice it together and add mayonnaise to it. So that is it guys. So finally our fish is ready. Looking so yummy as it look like it's so yummy guys. So I love you guys to so try it out. If you try it out, just let me know in the comment section and thank me later. So this is our fish. Then I'll have to have it with my sweet potato and my salad. So let me show you guys the finished look. So this is the finished look. My catfish barbecue. I just decided to do it like this. You can anyhow you want to design it, anyhow you want to arrange it, anyhow. So I decided to just put mine like this and it was so yummy. Trust me, the salad did a lot of job. So yummy guys, you can come and join me if you want. So that's the end of this video. If you are watched up to this point, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, like and share and subscribe to my channel. Till I come your way next time. Peace out. Bye -bye. <laughs>